Hi there, Halu here. On February 5th, we woke up to a beautiful Monday morning to enjoy dim sum with the family. Here are some of my favorite dishes we enjoyed. Sinjokin, which is like a bean curd tofu skin wrapped with veggies. Some chicken cartilage. These pink rice noodles wrapped with the altiu was pretty unique. Also had some pandan shanjin bao. After that, we went to Target for a little quick digest and consumerism ingest. The reviews say they're good. Oh. oh, you guys look the same. You guys look the same. These were one of the stormy days in Cute. California we just had. The road was crazy. Oh my fucking god, it's so fucking crazy out here, dude! It was all my other cars, we're all the hiding places! It was like, hey, drive it's safe! <laughs> <laughs> so we pretty much just stayed home afterwards. <laughs> On cold rainy days, we like to have hot pot. Here was our spread. Some beef, look at that marble. Squid, shrimp, and fish balls. And some homemade satay for dipping. On Tuesday, February 6th, the rain hadn't stopped. It was completely pouring on my way to work in the morning. Good morning, it is Tuesday, February 6th at 8.09 a.m. I am headed to work and it is still raining from over the weekend. Um, it was crazy the other night. We uh, were driving and there was just so many different accidents happening. California drivers can really not handle the rain because they love to speed and, you know, it's just, if you go fast, you're gonna slide. There's so much water on the floor. It only makes sense that you're gonna hit something. We had a close call with uh, someone who was driving on the other lane and we were in the fast track uh, carpool lane. And they like skid into the cones um, between the lanes and like hit the wall. Um, they were behind us luckily and we only just saw the it's, it's scary out here and people really do not know how to drive. Anyways, this morning I got up around 5.30. Had my alarm at 5 but was kind of like laying in bed and fully awake at like 5.30. And then got ready, hopped onto uh, my computer, started working on some Maya. Right now the course is showing me how to uh, build a Ghostbuster trap. Um, which is just some general modeling stuff, so not, not anything I can't handle, but it's always good to like review and feel, um, you know, more in tune with the program and software. Uh, it's nice that with Maya, no matter how long I take a break from it, I always just know where everything is and it feels natural to me. I can go ahead and just hop on and just start working as I did uh, when I used to use it. So the skill definitely has not left um, and I and I don't really have trouble finding things that like finding like tools that I normally use. So um, this morning's session was pretty good. Felt really confident about it. Was able to um, uh, pretty much follow up with the tutorial uh, up until where it's at and much much more expedited speed so basically like in the tutorial it's a beginner's tutorial it's teaching you how to use certain 
objects, how to uh, change and manipulate it, but uh, for me, I just hopped on and made the same shape, made the same um, objects, and uh, pretty much caught up with where it's at. Um, but today should be an okay day. Um, just gonna be at work and then come home and uh, probably work on it a little bit more and hang out with my girlfriend out here. So, normal day, normal routine. Hello, it is 1 p.m. And I'm freezing in my car. It is rainy. I hope this is the last of the rain of this week. Whoa, my car is fogging up like crazy. Anyways, I have today the rest of the leftovers from having hot pot last night. And it's very hot and very warm. So this is nice, but um, I wish I had some soup or something. Uh, work's been chill, not too busy, pretty normal day, but I do want to go home and sleep. I think I'm gonna pass out after I have some of this because it's uh, one, quite heavy, and two, I'm tired, so yeah, gonna enjoy my lunch now. After work, just came home and hung out with the family. So why are you coming? Hi there, Halu here. Today is Wednesday, February 7th at 1 p.m. and that is lunchtime. I brought rice and beef strips from the hot pot last night. We had hot pot two nights in a row. And then some of my mom's spare ribs uh, from previous nights. Uh, went to the gym this morning. Went to the new gym that I signed up with. Uh, it wasn't too bad, but there was a lot of people there, and um, not that anyone like was using the machines I wanted to use, but uh, I don't know. I just like being able to work out when nobody is around. Um, there's just like a kind of like nice feeling to it. Um, not that I feel like I'm judged or anything. It's just nice to be working out alone, and there's like nobody in sight. Um, but uh, it wasn't too bad. I did triceps uh, since I haven't been on at the gym for a while. Um, and then after that, I got ready for it, came out to here. Uh, but this morning, I was listening to a Learn Squared podcast featuring Ash Thorpe. Um, and he is just like a genuine, honest, real human being with true emotions. And I just resonated with the podcast so much. He was just talking about how like he thinks all his work sucks. He thinks he's like ever growing. Um, I really felt uh, similar to his feelings of um, being the jack of all trades and master of none where he gets just really obsessed with one thing. He works crazy at it and then he reaches to a point where he's just like satisfied and he moves on to the next thing. And I really, really feel like that too, in terms of like my craft. 
Um, I get super obsessed about new things that I learn about and I really work hard on it and I go hard on it and just like make it into something that I really want to learn and I'm curious about and then once I'm done I just move on to the next thing and there's ne there's never like you know a desire to become the best at one thing you know I am just like always a student I just want to keep learning different things and I just want to grow and and many directions and not just the one place so i really enjoyed that podcast and <clears throat> i've been a fan of um ash thorpe uh kind of from a distance um because i know that him and mache mache kuchiara that guy those two guys they make some incredible things um so I have always wanted to understand their workflow and what they are doing. And I found the other um, podcast that features Maché's um, on it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be listening to that during lunch um, and just uh, uh, revel in what artists that have made something of themselves want to share with someone like myself and it's just like really just starting just starting i i i've i've been interested in 3d for so long but i always feel like i'm just starting so like you know i just i just uh always feel like i'm starting again and again and again and uh it's not bad thing i like new beginnings even if they're old beginnings so yep talked for like almost five minutes I, I need to eat i'm pretty hungry so i'll talk to you guys later later that night my girlfriend and i went on a jujube we started with dinner at tony's barbecue bibing kinitang Chicken glisten. Mm. When he died, he was like, I'm gonna glisten in the after. Watch you break your uh, fork. fork. I was gonna say spork. <laughs> yeah. There's also lemon in here. Is there lemon in there? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe a little. Oh, that's gonna be sour. <laughs> Or just drizzle it all over the chicken. Good? Filipino Nando's. I told Got you. <laughs> what bite was that? Mmm! Mmm! Mmm, I love grilled chicken. After dinner, we headed to Neon Retro Arcade in Pasadena. This tiny arcade offers both classic and modern games. Not the greatest selection, but we still had fun nonetheless. I forgot how much we paid, but it's free play once you pay admission. Without our jujube, we went to Meat Fresh for some red bean soup. I always find it weird to call sweet desserts soup because I'm used to savory soups, but I guess anything that's an edible liquid is a soup. Wow. 
Hey there, it's Thursday, February 8th, a uh, little after 1 p.m. I'm at the gas station, getting some gas. Um, didn't do anything this morning, absolutely nothing. I woke up at seven, I could not get up any earlier. I was just butt tired, just could not get up. Oh, and it was so cold in the morning, so. Didn't do anything this morning, just went straight to work. Um, but I am looking to maybe work on uh, last week's vlog a little bit tonight. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, today isn't too much going on. Yesterday was fun, went out on a date, went to go eat some uh, uh, Filipino barbecue. And then I uh, went to this arcade in Pasadena for a little bit for just, just a short hour. Finished up the night with some dessert. Really fun, uh, nice jujube with my girl. But uh, yeah, gonna go get some gas or getting gas now and um, gonna just park back at work and eat my food. For lunch today, I have just rice and kaoyok. Kaoyok is like a fried, uh, deep fried, like, I don't know, pork loin? Pork? Yeah, I think it's like pork loin. It has that fatty meat in it, but once it's deep fried, it's uh, steamy, and then my mom puts like a bunch of vegetables and stuff in it. Um, but yep, just got back to work and gonna enjoy some of my food. Um, starving. For dinner, I had kaoyo, fried fish, steamed vegetables, and jellyfish in preparation for Chinese New Year's Eve tomorrow. Here's the spread. My girlfriend had been out all day with her friends that day, so I had to pick her up later that night. It is Thursday night at about 10.55 p.m. and I am going to pick up my girlfriend. Doesn't she know that I work tomorrow? How could she be so inconsiderate as to make me wait until nearly 11 p.m. so I can pick her up? <sighs> How ungrateful of her. Only kidding. I was excited to see her and obviously to get in and out. For lunch on February 9th, we had Korean Tofu House. I went with some Hispanic co-workers and it was their first time trying. They weren't too crazy about it, but they liked it and that's good enough for me. I had a tofu soup with beef for myself and then we all shared a kimchi fried rice. Happy Friday, February 9th, just a little under 4.30 p.m. Uh, I got out an hour early from work because it is Chinese New Year's Eve or Lunar New Year's. Xinin Kuala, Sunny and Bye Luck to all my Asians out there, and if you're not Asian, then also a happy Lunar New Year to you. Um, work was pretty chill. Finish up, finish up what I had to do, and um, just relaxed and chilled for the rest of the day. Then around lunchtime, we went to go eat at a tofu house. I took my Hispanic coworkers, and it was the first time they tried. Uh, any sort of Korean cuisine. Uh, they're a little bit iffy about the banchan. They're a little bit weird about tofu. And it's just so strange because it's such a normal food to me, but it's so like far from them. But if it were the other way around, I wouldn't feel that way about Mexican food, but also I kind of grew up in a Mexican community, so I understand their foods as well. But nonetheless, they said they enjoyed it. Um, gonna go head home now, celebrate Chinese New Year's Eve with my family. And we always have like these extravagant dishes like abalone and uh, steamed chicken and like a sort of fish thing. But like, I'm not the biggest fan of Chinese New Year's food. Yeah, I know it's expensive. Yeah, I know it's supposed to be like healthy and good fortune and all this other stuff. But like, I'm not a fan of eating a lot of Chinese New Year's food. Um, but you know what, it's, it brings the family together and we all get to celebrate and that's always a good time. So, uh, looking forward to doing that tonight. And then afterwards, pr probably just hang out with my girlfriend. I'm, I am off for the week. We are going to vacation next week. So, so yeah, just looking forward to my time off starting now. Uh, but, uh, yeah, 
As for now, just driving home. We'll see how the night unravels from this point on. What's happening to Gogo? Is he okay? <laughs> Looks like a king. <laughs> Looks like a king. too lazy to name every single dish, but this was our Chinese New Year's spread. Obviously, I went crazy on the crab and walnut shrimp. You're supposed to have at least 8 dishes in symbolism of prosperity and wealth, but I think my parents went a bit overboard. Anyways, this was a delicious dinner. I actually ended up eating way too much that night. <laughs> <What is> <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? How does, how does the song go? What song? Hey Google, what's that song that goes No da no Shut up. <laughs> hey Google, what's that song that goes No da no da no da no da no da no da <laughs> On February 10th, Saturday morning, the family gathered as we watched my dad light off some firecrackers. Hey, Afterwards, I dropped off my girlfriend at her friend's house, then went to a Japanese market to pick up some snacks. I got a tuna hand roll, two onigiris, and some katsu for lunch later on. No! Oh my god, it came apart. No! Good enough. <laughs> I mean, it's still a rice ball. Once I got home, I made my bed, washed my clothes, and cleaned my room in my own time. Then I just probably worked on any projects I had with my free time. Once I got hungry again, I decided to make myself some katsu. Dang, why's that katsu sauce so dark? I don't really like to watch a lot of different things on YouTube, but when I do, it's gonna be Asmund Gold. For some reason, I just really enjoy his content. I mean, he just talks just like anybody else, but I don't know, it's entertaining and he provides really real and valid points to video game related news. My youngest cousin had came over and he was like, do you wanna unbox some Pokemon cards? And I was like, Alright, sure, I guess so. Uh, I had not bought Pokemon cards ever since I was a child, so I had known nothing about Pokemon. But anyways, he started opening some cards. I think he had some rare ones. You got it? You wanna cut it? Swim, it swim she caught V. Whoa! It's a good pull! I just got a pull! Whoa, look at that! What? It's decent! I just got a good pull! He got a good pull. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Good pull. I, I got a V. I got a Why V card. Pull? Yeah. I literally got a V card. It was pretty much just editing videos and hanging out for the rest of the day. But when your nephew invites you to a dance party. You know you have to partake.
forward to later that night, me and my girlfriend got our grub on. We got our fried chicken sandwich, carne and pastor tacos, and nuggies with some fries. This? You're yeah. Not, you can try that. Why? Because it is late and your mom said no. And you've tried it before. <laughs> Sunday, February 11th, we started our jujube at Erewhon, where everything is extremely overpriced. My girlfriend is an Erewhon girl, but I do agree that some of their products are worth splurging on only every so often. Take a bite. How do you even bite that? It's two sandwiches. <laughs> You're about to bite two at once. <laughs> Good. I look like I'm about to drink a cheese. <laughs> Is it good? Coconutty? Ooh. Oh yeah? That's good. Oh really? <laughs> Afterwards, we made our way to Griffith Observatory. We didn't really have plans, so we just went wherever the date led us. We took our time, walked around, and just enjoyed a nice sunny day after a week of pure rain. Hey. <laughs> you're the one that wants to look back at these moments and all you're gonna see is your face covered. <laughs> Are you a celebrity or what? Yeah. Are you a celebrity? No. I'm a stalker. I'm your stalker. Arthur. Arthur. Every day when you're walking down the street. It was the Super Bowl that day and despite us being sports fans, we decided to watch it with wings and fries from Wingstop. Yeah, you want some junk food? No. I like avocado. <laughs> no. No. He said he likes avocado now. He doesn't like junk food anymore. My point got me some new sunnies. They're from uh, Gentle. <laughs> Gentle. <laughs> Monster. <Monster's laughs> the box. Very nice white box. Don't get them dirty. Here's a very, very nice leather. White cover. Do you like how YouTubers sleep? Like? <laughs> wow. These are the Jade Edition of the Gentle Monster Collection. <laughs> Can I go ahead and uh, them up? Wow. Wow, it's like everything got darker. <laughs> really tell the color. It's like purplish. It looks purplish. But at the store it looks blue. I'm gentle. This was how my first week of February 24 went down. Thanks for watching till the end and I'll holler at you later.